What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have to talk to you guys today about Bob Arum. You know Bob Arum, you know, he's about 90 years old, but you know what? I think in age, I think, comes desperation, and I think he's really trying to push the issue to make the best fights happen with his fighters. Now, Terrence Bud Crawford, of course, his win over Amir Khan was a very impressive win. It made Amir Khan do something I've never seen him do quit and of course that fight's done stamped complete and now it's time for us to talk about Terrence Crawford what is he going to do Bob Arum has stated no BS we want the Earl Spence fight now <clears throat> Earl Spence now has been taunted He's been contacted. He's been offered a certain amount of money at this point. And it's time for Spence to respond. I'm not talking about a social media drunk rant. I'm not talking about him with his fan base and him telling, no. It's about talking to the people that are calling you out. You, I have never seen a boogeyman get called out and then the boogeyman turns around and goes, no, you have to uh, agree to my politics. That has nothing to do with you being the boogeyman. Matter of fact, boogeymen don't have to say that type of shit. Boogeymen are the hungry ass uh, fighters in the division that people avoid because they don't want to fight them because they're afraid of getting their ass beat. That's a boogeyman. That's the definition. That guy that you don't want to have any dealings with, no, you'd rather fight that guy over there because this particular guy will beat my ass and I don't want no smoke. That's the boogeyman. And Terrence Crawford is the boogeyman. I call him the ghost, but he is the true boogeyman. It's not boogeymen, okay? There's nobody calling out Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford is avoiding that. Let me say that again. There is nobody that's calling out Terrence Crawford and Terrence Crawford is avoiding them. Nobody. Nobody's saying, hey, I want to fight Terrence Crawford. Are they? Hell no. Nobody in the welterweight division. Man, I'll fight uh, Terrence Crawford. The only person that, I, that said they'll fight Terrence Crawford, but it was a butt behind it, was Danny Garcia. Hell, I'll fight Terrence Crawford, but you got to pay me the money, enough money. And no, let me rephrase. He said... If if I'll fight uh I'll fight Terrence Crawford if the money is right. Meaning it has to take a lot of damn money to get my crazy ass, being the PBC, uh one of the crowns or, or, or one of the generals in the PBC to to come over to ESPN to fight that guy. It I, I would have to do it for so much money because I'm set, I'm comfortable here, and I don't like fighting those type of fighters. <laughs> Give me fighters that I know Al Heyman's going to put in front of me be, to, so I, he knows that I'll have a good chance of beating because Al Heyman loves us. We're not going to disrespect Al Heyman by go, messing with Bob Arum and messing with Terrence Crawford. That's not going to work. You know? So, Bob Arum is, 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 is pushing the issue, and he should be because he knows that his time is limited. He's been around a long time. Time. And I feel like Customato was with Mike Tyson. Customato wanted the best for Mike Tyson. Customato knew that he had a special, a special talent that he was providing, but he knew he wasn't going to be around long. I think that same thing applies to Bob Arum. I think Bob Arum knows that, hey, I'm not going to live forever. So I want to see my top fighter since he still, to this day, has the best fighters pound for pound. And on his stable, he want to make he wants to make sure he can get them the best fights. Because if he's not, he's not doing his job. And when you're older and you're not doing your job, that means you failed in a sense, or you're slipping. You know what I mean? And Bob Arum doesn't want to make feel that way. You know, mentally, morally. So he wants the best fights for Terrence Crawford, and I get it, and I get that. So it's up to Errol Spence to grow some balls. And stop hiding behind the politics of his advisor and all this stuff and make the fight happen. Because 
Bob Arum is not going to stop. Bob Arum is, you know, I haven't seen him like this. You've seen Bob Arum mention stuff and then later on he stops talking about it. You have never seen him constantly talking about making a fight. He wants to make this particular fight. Because really, the actuality, when was the last time we had a true super fight? You know, PBC, uh, Premier Boxing Champions, when it came out, it was an ingenious plan, I thought at first, for boxing. It put boxing back on free TV like boxing used to be in the early 80s. You know what I mean? That was a long time ago. And even USA was a paid channel. You know what I'm saying? Like you had to have a cable box or a, a, some, ca some sort of cable to watch those fights. But ABC, NBC, Fox, okay, those are free TV. That's the type of stuff you can just turn your television on without paying anyone any additional money, you know, to watch television. So um, it, they got a lot of hatred at first, but the fights were mediocre. It didn't do what, you know, people thought it was going to do, you know? Um, and then these particular fighters that fought on PBC didn't really fight with no one else. So that's how everything started to branch out. And it actually, you thought it was good for boxing and it turned out to be bad for boxing because you have, okay, well, what about this guy that fights on ESPN? Or what about this guy that only fights on Showtime or HBO? You know what I'm saying? Those fights were hard to make and it almost close to impossible. Because these guys on the PBC just kind of like broke off on their own island. And they've been living there ever since. You know what I'm saying? A couple have kind of swayed away. Only a couple. And when they did, they didn't return. So. But uh, no, um, I think Bob Arum really wants to make this fight. I think that he has his duty and it's his obligation for Terrence Crawford to make that fight for Terrence Crawford. Because again, Terrence Crawford is a fighter. Bob Arum is the promoter. And Terrence Crawford respects himself and knows his place. You know? And it's imperative for Bob Arum to do his job. Because Terrence Crawford is definitely doing his damn job. Right? So, um, Bob Arum, he's pressing the issue. You guys tell me... Um, what Bob should do. Will Arrow Spence step up? Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.